You know, what's funny, though, is that this next guy, for whatever reason, there's uh, he could pull it off. I would not be surprised if Ryan Fitzpatrick ends up being a top-10 quarterback next season just based off of all the crazy stuff we see him pull. And talking about his future now is I was actually thinking, that, like a couple weeks ago, I did a show with um, the Hard Hitting uh, Podcast. So shout out to those guys. They run a great show. And it was a pleasure to be on. And we are talking Ryan Fitzpatrick, and this is before the, the reports came out. I said, Ryan Fitzpatrick to the Broncos. And then two weeks later, it came out. Ryan Fitzpatrick is asking too, for too much money to join the Broncos. I'm like, okay, that's <laughs> not happening. <laughs> so next best option, you would keep him in Miami, especially because Tua, Tua, commit to him. He's the quarterback of the future. Or if he's not, at least give him more than half a season. Okay, we got to stop moving on from quarterbacks so quick. Like, I mean, Drew Locke, he's probably not going to be the guy of the future, but he's only had about 16 games to show it. Let's give quarterbacks time, but but that's besides the point. Miami, you're not sold on Tua right now. We saw it last season. We're going to see it this season. You're not sold on me yet. A guy that was helping you win games last year was Ryan Fitzpatrick. You keep him in that role. You keep him as a guy that's going to help Tua develop or just win you football games if you need to because that Dolphins team is hands down contenders in the AFC conference, okay? So you do the easy thing. Resign uh, um, Ryan Fitzpatrick to a one- or two-year deal. Call it good. That's simple. So I agree in premise to what you say, but I would love to see Ryan Fitzpatrick on the New England Patriots. Oh. I think that is that is just the perfect place for someone to just, just kind of ride off into the sunset. Go be with Bill Belichick. I, I feel like Bill's at this point now where, you know, he's he's already kind of admitted like, all right, like, you know, until I get my guy in here, like, I'm, I'm not going to win this this Tom versus Bill, you know, debate here, but maybe if I could just, you know, tank for a couple seasons, maybe wait till the next Trevor Lawrence comes around and then, um, you know, get my quarterback. And then once, once Tom's out of the league, I can, I can try to make my comeback, but Ryan Fitzpatrick would just be so freaking fun on the Patriots because you go from a guy that cannot complete a pass and throws every ball into the ground to a guy that will literally stand in the pocket until his head gets decapitated and throw a deep ball. So <laughs> I just I think it'd be so fun to see that massive beard in the New England Patriots. No, Alex, are you talking about the guy that throws the football on the ground? Are you talking about Cam Newton, Brian Hoyer, or Jared Stidham? Uh, I'm talking about any 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 quarterback that wore a New England Patriots uniform last year. So all the above uh, fit that box. But I think Fitzpatrick would just be a, a hoot in New England. It'd be so weird to see, like, the classiest uh, – Kind of your, your clean – it's almost like the Yankees of the NFL just come in with this big, like, Harvard grad, massive beard, doesn't really give a shoot on the field, and, you know, just chucking the ball around. And um, I, I would just love to see Ryan Fitzpatrick to the Patriots. And I think they have – I mean, they have a ton of cap space, so it's not like them, you know, asking for – him asking for a 10 to $12 million number is going to be um, just too much because, like we said, I, I think he's going to – the Patriots are going to draft the quarterback – you know, a Trey Lancer, Mac Jones variety. You put Ryan Fitzpatrick in for six to eight weeks. Um, and then you hope that you don't have a two a situation where you put that rookie in and then Fitzpatrick still <laughs> blows him out of the water. But well, Alex, there, uh, there's, I'm sorry, but there's one glaring issue here. Okay. To, to your point, you said uh, this would be a good spot for Ryan Fitzpatrick to rough into the sunset. And that's exactly where you're wrong because who the hell retires in New England? Okay. You retire in Miami. That's that's hands down Florida built in retirement home right there. You stay there to retire. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Don't know it. Do you act like when you retire, you have to stay in the city that you last played for? <laughs> you retire in the old folks home that's already in Florida. You don't retire in the stone box, bro. <laughs> Come on. So you, so you so you go to the you go to the Patriots and all of a sudden they have your they have your retirement rights and you gotta live there for the rest of your yep. life. That that's sense. exactly what I'm saying, Alex. That's exactly what I'm saying. I like that. 